So we're well into the wet season in North Queensland and with this time of the new year with high humidity, thunderstorms and rain, we get a certain type of pest along with it, the humble flying ant. But what you might not know about the humble flying ant is it's actually not an ant at all. And that's what we're gonna be exploring in today's video. Now, flying ants have always been a feature in my life growing up in North Queensland. I remember when we'd go to the hut just after some rainfall or just before it, we'd have walls upon walls upon walls just full of flying ants. And I'm sure you would have too. Everyone in Australia gets it. Everyone would have experienced flying ants at least once in their life. But it's only recently occurred to me to actually find out what these little buggers are. Are they ants or are they termites? I've been told throughout my life that they're both but I decided when I was Googling sitting down that we're gonna make it the first for curiosity's sake video is to find out what exactly a flying ant is. So, g'day lads and lasses and welcome back to the first video in a long time. This is for curiosity's sake. The purpose of this series is to answer the who, the what, the when, the why, and the how of life, as well as to answer your questions and my questions about anything in particular. Try and find the answer to these questions for the sake of curiosity, and that's all there is to it. So believe it or not, the specific insect we're actually discussing today is not an ant at all. It's in fact a termite. And these termite nests that they originate from are classified as reaching maturity. So they're either overpopulated, don't have enough food for all the termites or they've reached an age of around three years and it's just time for the reproductive cast to fly. This generally occurs during periods of high temperatures as well as high humidity or rainfall as we're getting in North Queensland at the moment and a lot of other southern states. For most of the north this is November through to March i.e. our wet season and for the southern states it's generally during spring that this happens. So what these flying termites are actually classified as is an elate. Now an elate refers to a winged productive cast from a social insect colony in its winged form. Now that definition is directly from Wikipedia. I know, don't give me crap for looking it up on Wikipedia. It's just the definition of the word, but basically in a late, it's a flying insect from a social insect colony. So they can be flying ants as well. And down below, I'll put a link to a resource if you're interested in learning how to spot the difference between a flying ant and a flying termite. So as you may or may not know, social insects such as bees, ants, or termites, they have casts, type of social system where you have the bottom, which is the worker, and the top, which is the queen. So the elates are generally around the queen during a swarm season, which in this case is the wet season in North Queensland, when all these flying termite swarms go out. The sole purpose of an elate or a reproductive cast in these social insect colonies is to go out, locate a new nest because the old one's overpopulated, can't be used anymore. They locate this new nest with a mate. So if it's a male, they're looking for a female. That's how reproduction works. They'll mate, they'll make some babies and then they'll start that new nest. And that generally occurs within a day. So these elates generally don't live longer than a day. The males usually die off as soon as their wings are dropped. And a whole bunch of them won't make it out to do their original purpose to make a new nest because they'll be taken by predators or they'll die before they find a mate. So then it boils down to the question, are flying termites good or bad? It really depends where they're coming from. Now, most flying termites can't fly more than a couple hundred meters. So generally their nest is within a couple hundred meters of your place if you're getting walls and walls of them like I do. That being said, I do have a park across the road. It's got plenty of rotting timber and vegetation in it that they can feed on. This is a steel frame house, I have no worries. But lots of pest experts and from all the things I've read have said that if they're emerging from cracks in your house, holes in your wall, you have reason to be worried because it already means you have a pre-existing termite problem and you should probably get it checked out. As with anything, I'm not an expert on any of this. So if you have any concerns whatsoever, I highly recommend talking to an expert. Moving on, they are a native species. They are good for the ecosystem. They are important to keep the life cycle going because what termites actually do is in the soil, they'll break down all that old timber, all those old roots, all that fallen debris. They'll break it all down, they'll turn it into soil. That soil then allows new trees to grow. Those trees fall down and die, and then the whole cycle begins again. So there you have it. We now know what flying termites are. Their sole purpose in life is to go out, fly, mate, make a new nest, and then die. Anyway, lads and lasses, I'm gonna finish the video by recommending a site down below. If you wanna check it out, it's up to you. You don't have to, but it's got a lot more information on these termites if you're worried about them, or if you just wanna know more, there's a lot more information located in this link. Anyway, lads and lasses, that's the end of the video. The first for curiosity's sake. If you have any burning questions that you want answered just for the sake of curiosity, drop them down below. I'll check them out, and I may even possibly do a video about them. Obviously, credit will go out to the people who ask the question, and also, if I've got any anything wrong in this video, please let me know down below. I'm always willing to learn more and I'm always okay with being corrected, believe it or not. 
that's all lads and lasses. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day and a great life. My name's Hearn and I'll see you next time. Bye.